opposition leader Raila Odinga was on the defensive this week as he revisited his handshake with President Uhuru Kenyatta four months on. Odinga, flanked by his core principal Kalonzo Msioka, defended the two-man deal that excluded their allies for the sake of the nation and not applaud for Kenyatta succession. <laughs> the handshake cascaded to nine key reform points, notable among them inclusivity in government, electoral reforms, national cohesion, ethnicity and corruption, to be implemented on the advice of the 14-member Building Bridges team, is starting to bear fruit in the wake of the anti-graft war and President Kenyatta's Friday reshuffle. You can see that the, hand, the handshake is shaking. <laughs> the, the country yeah? is shaking the country. Those with eyes to see should see. Those with ears to hear should hear. You can already see the movement that's going on. As you look at those nine uh, points in the Memorandum of Understanding. The Deputy President is restless. He is not comfortable. He is shaken because he sees like Raila is out to block his way off accenting to the president. Four months on, the politics stalked by the handshake as politicians across the divide awaken to the reality it's here to stay. Is causing restlessness in the Jubilee camp, where the ruling party is divided between two camps. One that is pushing for Kenyatta's 2022 succession to be put on the back burner for the sake of the Big Four agenda, while another one is pushing for Deputy President William Ruto 2022 endorsement by President Uhuru Kenyatta. In the fullness of time, there are people who will feel dissatisfied. They will feel that they were betrayed. Like, that's a feeling that the Ruto team is likely to feel that. Um, President Uru Kenyatta is more interested in Raila's activities, the involvement between them politically to govern, and they are no longer act, talking very actively about 2022, which is a major interest for William Ruto. The Building Bridges team, expected to give the way forward on reforms, is banking heavily on political goodwill to execute its mandate, despite the 2022 Kenyatta succession landmine. Apul Kamau, K24 Weekend Edition.